Everything all right, lad? Yes, Sarge. Keep this way, then go through. What's all the sorcery? Well, but if I know, I just nod, smile, and keep down wind of him. Never thought you were a careless type. Losing your wife and children like that. She's best off with him. Children, too. You see, when the end comes, they'll draw a circle around themselves, and what's left of the food will be in sight in. Flower sex, Mr. Watley. Sir. I didn't want you to be a whore, remember? Well, now I am. It's a price we both agreed to pay, so don't make me pay for it twice over. So? Leave him. We'll find ways of keeping back more of the cats. There'll be a supply uh, ship. There no, has to we're be. We're finished here. We're leaving. But things aren't going fast enough. The food won't last long in the ground, and we haven't got the equipment we need. There's not a good enough thief amongst us. And on the night, it'll take more than five of us to get the cutter away. We need two more. Who? James Martin and William Allen. James Martin, are you mad? Nothing happens here without him knowing about it. He'll queer it for us unless he's in on it. And William Allen could steal the governor's house away if he wanted. it. I might be in a boat with him. He already knows. in the charts, but I've made this up. It won't be a map to travel by, but the proportion should be about right. It'll be handy having a forger on board. When we get to where we're going, he can paint us up some local money. We're here. The nearest known civilization is up here. It's an island called Timor. It's Dutch. And what shall we do then? We talk ourselves a passage back to Europe. How far is this, Timor? About three and a half thousand miles. Three and a half thousand miles in an open boat. It's been done before. Not the exact same journey, but the same distance, and they ended up in Timor. Oh, you've heard of Captain Bly. The way I heard it, he had 14 hardjack tars with him. We'll be four men, if you include him. And that boy you've got over there. And two women and two children. The Cutter is the only boat in Sydney Cove that can go outside the harbor. Any chase after us won't be able to get beyond the Eds. It'll take him days to go around, by which time we'll be well clear. But if you'd rather stay here... All right. We better start collecting what we need, then. Making sure the ones at the back were free of the mold, and uh, well, you better have a look yourself, sir. Sand. Eight sacks were taken. Eight. This is a barbarous act and a crime against each and every one of us. Those who come forward with information will be rewarded with a month's extra rations and lighter duties for a period of six months. You may come to me in absolute confidence without fear of reprisal. And as a result of this criminal act, the flour ration will be reduced. Sit 
there. It'll be another futile escape. Now they've taken muskets and machetes. It's a dangerous escalation. The door to the food store wasn't full, so they had a key. Except I have the only key, and it hasn't left my side for over three weeks. It's a puzzle. Unless they discovered a way to make a copy. My everyone's so desperate. Well, you must know what the talk is. Living under your roof, you think they'd confide in me? So you know nothing? Of a child and a baby. Escaping from here would make me a murderess. Is that what you think I am? Excellent, Thomas. All this detail. Well done. I might be too drawn to maps and charts, Will, but I'll not go with you. You're the only one who can get us the glass, the compass, the quadrant. I'll get you all the instruments you need. But I'll notice you took them. I stole down to the creek the other day. Just the sight of the cutter on my legs went weak. I survived a passage out here. I nearly died at least twice. Yeah, well, with Martin and Alan in that boom. I need you on my side. <laughs> Me against those two. Will, I'm the world's worst sailor. And I'll not set foot in another boat ever. So we escape and you hang. I'll get you the instruments. Will you get me the instruments? I won't let you down. Where's our supplies? They must have been blown about by the storm. They were. Just been going about and picking it up. between us. Have you thought it through? How long do you think your children will last out there? Longer than they will stay in here. You haven't got any choice. You can't leave without Will, and he won't leave without us. We leave tonight. Now, we'll come for you when the cutter is loaded. And you'd better be ready to pick up those children of yours and run. Wait till curfew. And you make sure that lieutenant of yours is too busy to be walking about. And then he needs to sleep like the dead. I'm sure you know how to do that. <laughs> 